In the case of uh, Hillary Clinton, you made the statement that there wasn't uh, sufficient evidence to bring a suit against her, although it had been very uh, careless in their behavior. But you did reach a conclusion in that case that it was not uh, necessary to further pursue her. Yet at the same time, in the case of Mr. Comey, you said that there was not enough information to make a conclusion. Tell me the difference between your conclusion as far as former Secretary Clinton is concerned and, and Mr. Mr. Trump. The Clinton investigation was a completed investigation that uh, the FBI had been deeply involved in, and so I had an opportunity to understand all the facts and apply those facts against the laws I understood them. This investigation was underway, still going when I was fired, so it's nowhere near in the same place. At least it wasn't when I was. But it's still ongoing. Correct. So far as I know, it was when I left. That investigation was going on. This investigation is going on. You reach separate conclusions. No, that one was done. That, uh, I that, only that investigation of any involvement of Secretary Clinton or any of her associates is completed. Yes, as of July the 5th, the FBI completed its investigative work, and that's what I was announcing, what we had done and what we had found. Well, at least in the minds of this member, there's a whole lot of questions remaining about what went on, particularly considering the fact that, as you mentioned, it's a, quote, big deal as to what went on during the campaign. So I'm glad you concluded that part of the investigation, but I, I, I think that the American people have a whole lot of questions out there, particularly since you just emphasized the role that Russia played. And obviously, she was a candidate for president at the time, so she was clearly involved in this whole situation where fake news, uh, as you just described it, big deal, uh, took place. And, uh, you, you're going to have to help me out here. You, in other words, we're complete the investigation of anything that former Secretary Clinton had to do with the campaign is over and we don't have to worry about it anymore? With respect to Secretary, I'm not, I'm, I'm a little confused, Senator. With respect to Secretary Clinton, yeah. we investigated criminal investigation in connection with her use of a personal email server. I understand. And that's the investigation I announced the conclusion of on July 5th. So, but there, at the same time, you made the announcement there would be no f charges brought against uh, then Secretary Clinton uh, for any activities involved in the Russia involvement in our engagement in our uh, election. I don't, I don't quite understand how you could be done with that, but not complete, done with the whole investigation of their attempt to affect the outcome of our election. No, I'm sorry. We're not, at least when I left, when I was fired on May the 9th, there was still an open, active investigation to understand the Russian efforts and whether any Americans work with them. But you reached the conclusion that there was no reason to bring charges against Secretary Clinton. So you reached a conclusion. In the case of Mr. Comey, you, uh, the President uh, Comey, I mean, excuse no, sir. me, in the case of President Trump, you uh, have an ongoing investigation. So you got one candidate who you're done with and another candidate that you have a long way to go. Is that correct? I don't know how far the, the FBI has to go, but yes, that the Clinton email investigation was completed. The investigation of Russia's efforts in connection with the election and whether there was any coordination, and if so, with whom, you between Russia it, and the campaign, you just was ongoing it, when I left. You just made it clear in what you said. This is a, quote, big deal, unquote. Uh, I, I think it's hard to reconcile. In one case, you reach a complete conclusion, and the other side, you have, you have not. And you, uh, in fact, obviously, there's a lot more there, as, as we know, as you called it, a, quote, big deal. She's one of the candidates. But in her case, you say there will be no charges. And in the case 
of uh, President Trump, the, uh, the investigation continues. What has been brought out in this uh, hearing is, uh, is more and more emphasis on the Russian engagement and involvement in this campaign. How, how serious do you think this was? Very serious, but I, I want to say something, be clear. It was, we have not announced, and there was no predication to announce, an investigation of whether the Russians may have coordinated with Secretary Clinton's campaign. Secretary Clinton's campaign. No, but they may not have been involved with their campaign. They were involved with the entire presidential campaign, obviously. Of course. Yes, sir. And that, that is an investigation that began last summer and, so far as I'm aware, continues. So both President Trump and former candidate Clinton are both involved in the investigation, yet one of them, you said, there's going to be no charges, and the other one, the, the investigation continues. Well. I, th I think there's a double standard there, to tell you the truth. Uh, then when the president said to you, you talked about the uh, April 11th phone call, and he said, quote, because I've been very loyal to you, very loyal. We had that thing, you know. Did that arouse your curiosity as what, quote, that thing was? Yes. Why didn't you ask him? It didn't seem to me to be important for the conversation we were having to understand it. I took it to be some... Um, an effort to, to uh, communicate to me this, that there is a relationship between us where I've been good to you, you should be good to me. Yeah, but I, I think it would intensely arouse my <coughs> curiosity if uh, the President of the United States said, we had that thing, you know. I'd like to know what the hell that thing is, particularly if I'm the director of the FBI. Yeah, I, I get that, Senator. Honestly, I'll tell you what, this is speculation, but what I concluded at the time is in his memory he was searching back to our encounter at the dinner and was preparing himself to say, I offered loyalty to you, you promised loyalty to me, and all of a sudden his memory showed him that did not happen, and I think he pulled up short. That's just a guess, but I, I, a lot of conversations with humans over the years. I think I would have had some curiosity if it had been about me, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, so are you aware of anything that would believe you to believe that the president or the members of the administration or members of the campaign could potentially be used to coerce or blackmail the administration? That's a subject for investigation. It's not something I can comment on sitting here. But you reached that conclusion as far as Secretary Clinton was concerned. But you're not reaching a conclusion as far as this administration is concerned. Uh, are you aware of anything that would lead you to believe that information exists that could uh, coerce members of the administration or blackmail the administration? That's not a question I can answer, Senator. Senator's time's expired. Thank you.